friends, today is my birthday. Oh. Ooh, boop, boop, boop. Oh. Just admiring the sweet sounds of someone playing in the litter box. We just got home from my parents and the craft store. Uh, we had a pretty chill day, which is nice. I feel like a lot of December is gonna be like go, go, go. So I'm good with like a relaxing birthday. Stevie brought me breakfast in bed this morning. Whoa. Hung out my parents, had some Thanksgiving leftovers. Went to Michael's because can't resist a craft store. I did already receive a very special birthday surprise right at midnight. My first birthday gift came from Kenobi. <laughs> He's over there enjoying okay. his dinner. Picture it. <laughs> Sicily, 1912. It's 11.59 and I'm sitting in this chair right here. We're back from Yuletide. Steve worked yesterday, so he wasn't able to come to Yuletide with us. And he was home and he said Kenobi had thrown up and when he throws up, he poops too. It's kind of a package deal situation. So he cleaned up the throw up and he cleaned up the poop and that was that. I'm sitting in the chair maybe like an hour later, sitting in the chair and I'm like, I still, I still smell poop. So I'm looking around, looking around and then it occurs to me like, oh, uh oh. And I get up <laughs> and at midnight, but the second my birthday started, I got up and realized I was sitting on a big old piece of cat poo. <laughs> Howdy ho! Happy birthday to me from Kenobi. Thank you so much. My sweetest boy still over there eating. You know, he needs food so he can make me more presents for the future. Anne thinks I wanted, wanted to twin her. Not everybody can be cool as to like get bird poop or cat poop on. So I mean. Yeah. As long as uh, it's feces from some sort of animal, then like we've had a birthday officially. Yeah. And I don't have to clean it out of your hair. So you did one better. Yeah, it was a dry turd. I was very lucky it was a dry turd. <laughs> Could have been way worse. Yeah. <laughs> Hux has been all up in the business of these, so is it about time? Steven does not want me to open these. He wants me to wait. Mm. Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't asked you to open these at all. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't want you to open them. Don't open them. <laughs> let's get let's get pizza. Okay, we'll get pizza. These can wait. Yeah. <laughs> I'll open them. <laughs> Thank you. I'll open the one in front of me first. I think this is the one I think I know. I think that I know one's what it, from I me. Think I know what it, wait, that's kind of heavy. What could it be? Are you opening it like Steven? <laughs> it's a weighted blanket. I thought it was going to be an electric blanket. <laughs> I was so, as soon as I felt the heaviness. Ooh, I like the color. That color is gorgeous. Yeah, that's really pretty color. Oh, it's like furry. It's a Muppet. It's a Muppet weighted blanket. I don't know that I've seen one of these. Oh, I'm never gonna toss and turn again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you weren't wrong. Yes! Was there a theme to the birthday? Jess is gonna be the most comfortable girl in the world. So you have one for the bedroom and one for down here. Nice, thank you guys. I yeah, I like this like this is a very like deep rich purple. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. I had to come over and make sure you didn't already buy one for yourself. I did. And that's what I thought because you guys kept saying like if you don't buy one for yourself or you're getting it, you need to like it. Because <laughs> I love I had one and it broke. I loved it. This one has foot pockets. So like when it's cold, like you can put your feet in it. And then your feet don't fall out and get cold. Oh my god, how clever is that? Thank you guys. Such comfort. <laughs> it's it's officially cold. Such birthday comfort. I'm so excited. Let's go. Let's order pizza. Apparently, getting a pizza in our neighborhood at seven o'clock on a saturday night is really freaking difficult so we had to switch gears we have greek food now still delicious oh, less fun. filling probably better like with what we're doing after this a salad for dinner might be mm -hmm. might be the move after all it's time for dessert baby we picked up a myriad of things at Yuletide Village from Baker Benji's Cakes and Desserts. I will link the information down below because this is 
a small business you definitely want to shop from. Um, are we going to do the gingerbread first? Yeah, let's do it. So Benji made these gingerbread kits. You oh, have your gingerbread fun. man, woman, your ginger person. Comes with little. And, uh, how do you yeah, make them a redhead? Some of the accoutrement to decorate. You get your icing. Yeah. How do you make it a ginger? Go get your food coloring. I mean, yeah, you could. Red sprinkles on the head? If you really wanted to. I think we only have Halloween sprinkles. We've got some cookies to decorate, and then we have uh, some things to try here. I'm very excited about. So I'm done with my gingerbread person <laughs> because the name of the game for Jess is icing. I am a frosting queen and uh, I wanted to make sure I got it in every bite. So this is my gingerbread person. I didn't take a whiff of that yet. I just keep eating icing out of the bag. <laughs> oh, I see it now. <laughs> Happy birthday. You sat and cat shit, now you have icing in your hair. <laughs> These fancy people over here are going hard with the decorations. I'm getting oh, like, not my gumdrop button vibes from yours a little bit. <laughs> it's like the Krampus gingerbread men. Is that what you're going for? Well, I was really zoomed in on you just then, sorry. Look at, look at, he's, he broke his, he broke the, uh... I miss like the Krampus ones. <laughs> we gotta watch that soon. And just straight up murder a candy cane. Well, now he's all covered in peppermint. He's a okay, fancy that's man. Really cute. He's a fancy man. I'm gonna take like a bite because we have other things to try. We have lots of Benji treats. Mm -hmm. So just one bite. Gingerbread cheers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Wow. It's like perfect gingerbread flavor. <laughs> Our next box of treats to try from Benji. I'm especially excited about this one. We got the cupcake inspired by the Little Debbie Christmas tree. There's a little piece of it on top. I love these things. So this was an absolute no-brainer. Um, I've already warned Steven that I don't intend to share this. This right here, this is my birthday cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And you sat in poo. <laughs> I did. Cheers to me. I brought them. Next up is the peppermint cocoa cupcake. Not usually a fan of peppermint, but I do like the idea of cocoa. Mmm. It was really good. Oh, it smells like you are a peppermint patty. It smells really good. Yeah. yeah. The last cupcake we have to try is the tipsy eggnog. This is Jack Daniel spice cake with white chocolate, chocolate. I mean, I will chocolate that. <laughs> I'm sugar drunk right now. White chocolate eggnog buttercream. This sounds pretty good. We actually each got one. I got one and Anne got one as well. And this is the, just the cake I have in my hands. So I'm just gonna go for that. <laughs> you gotta take your naked bite. I'm gonna really make a bite. Mm. The cake is good. That is good cake. You definitely get like the Christmas spices in it. Mm -hmm. And just like um, oh, that ice a, a little bit of the Jack Daniels. It's not overpowering. You if the, the Jack Daniels part makes you nervous. Gotta take a naked bite of that icing. It's too. really good. Oh, take a naked bite of the icing. Naked bite of the icing. Don't mind if I do. Yes. 
That's it. Same thing. It's wow. Good. So good. Oh my god. It's eggnog. All right, now together. Here we go. Mm. Oh my god. That is a great combination. Mm -hmm. Well done, Benji. I'm glad we got two of these. I thought the Christmas tree was gonna be my favorite. Out of the cupcakes. Because the gingerbread was oh. perfection. Yeah, this is my favorite cupcake for sure. You guys agree? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am so glad that we got we each got one of these. Yeah. This is delicious. I agree with you all the way across too. The gingerbread mm. was perfect. How's everybody feeling out there tonight? Yeah, I am not feeling good. Feeling like a saggy, massive bag of sugar. Oh, shit. We have one more thing to try. That's a lot of sweets. But we are champions and we persevere. And we're on to our final round of Benji amazingness. Please don't take our like lethargic nature mm -hmm. as <laughs> like a, a a dig to how amazing any of this was because it's so good. It's just sugar. So last on the birthday tasting agenda today is this peppermint cocoa brownie. And I'm just gonna like hack a little bit of this off and cut it into thirds. So we all get like a bite. Birthday cheers. Smush. Jeez, it, guys. <laughs> Got diabetes today. Thank you, Benji. Mmm. <laughs> it's really good. Mm -hmm. The cupcake, mm -hmm. the chocolate cocoa cupcake was good. But this is, I love the brownie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a brownie person. This is awesome. Um, I prefer the brownie to the cupcake as well. Mm -hmm. No shade to the cupcake. The texture on the brownie is really good too. Moist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. All good. That was Baker delicious. Benji's Cakes and Desserts. I will leave information. In the description box, a thousand percent, please check him out. He's doing the Lord's work. I think it's about time to sign off for the even, the even. <laughs> Sugar drunk. I want to get chocolate wasted. I think it's about time to sign off for the evening. It's your girl's birthday. Give her a like, a thumbs up, a follow. Everything helps. Hit the subscribe, <laughs> thumbs up, leave a comment. Helps the algorithm. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> You love to help that algorithm. <laughs> you know it. You know it.